$61 because he claims Pastor Troy was a no-show at his concert. Pastor Troy and Michael Holloway admit to missing the concert, but say they already tried to give Adrian his money back, but he wouldn't accept it. So joining us in court is in the witness, Jerry Big G Thurston. The bottom line is you've got a lot of different charges here, and some of it, uh, what I don't see are receipts. I just have receipts that also inside the photo shop. You, yeah, I got receipts, but I got one, two receipts. Yes. But re what, where are the rest of the receipts? Well, some of the receipts, uh, like the hotel rooms, when I booked the rooms or whatever, I just got reference numbers, and then I paid, and uh, my computer recently, before we came, like two weeks before, I was getting my evidence uh, together, yes, sir. You, uh, you got me a, a couple of... You got me a couple of receipts. And mind you, too, when the event got initially booked at another venue, he had already spent money on flyers and stuff, and they came to him and said, oh, we can't use it now. We're going through uh, uh, liquor license issues. But it doesn't help your claim against Mr. Troy because basically what it means is you suffered a loss of people because right. of the change of venue. Maybe not, not because, because of me, not because of him, because nobody right. knew he wasn't coming, right. even you. Right. Okay. So, but here's the thing, Mr. Troy. There's a reason for contracts. The reason people go into contracts, and you should understand this since you have a manager and you, you're a businessman, is for certainty that you know that whatever you've contracted for is going to happen and you can plan your affairs and you can hire promoters and you can, uh, you know, uh, do spend money out there knowing that this event's going to happen. You, you can't just back out of it because you've got a bigger and better deal. Then you become responsible for the damages. Now, it's, it's difficult to assess the damages because you had the event and it's hard for you to show me what you lost and what you didn't lose when you still had a good talent there performing and people you know, were happy. Now there's some money here, I see some documentation for money you gave back, right. I see that, but you know, you want to be reimbursed for a lot of stuff, then right. you got the benefit of a show. Okay. He, he, you extended to Mr. Troy $1,000 in advance, you never paid him the other 1000 because he never showed up. Sure. So you're obviously entitled to that 1000 You had some money that you had to pay back to some of the people who performed because they had paid top dollar because they were going to be performing along with both of them and they only got to perform with one, he wasn't there. So the best I can do is a little bit of estimating on what you could have lost or things here. There's some of the security that you claim you're uh, responsible for. I guess there would be some for two talents as opposed to one talent. <coughs> uh, realistically, you don't have any documentation for any of it, not even the hotel room. So other than the $1,000, I would say that I could probably estimate that you spent another fifteen fifty that was attributable solely to him. So that's $2,550. Um, you're responsible for that because of your failure to show up. It's a clear right. breach of the contract. And uh, is there going to be another Pastor Troy case? I mean, is there another uh, breach on the horizon here? Stay tuned. Maybe I can just set up a Pastor Troy week. We just like coming to Oh, it's good. Good seeing you as well. Pleasure meeting you, gentlemen. All right. Judge Alex has ruled in favor of the plaintiff and has ordered the defendant to pay him $2,550. The judge has dismissed the plaintiff's claim against Michael Holloway. I mean, I understand where he came from. I understand there was a lack of evidence. Um, I did learn a lesson. Uh, I feel like, you know, next time I just won't deal with, you know, someone's monthly company or someone's booking agency. I'll do it myself. I'm cool with it, man. You know, we aren't expected to pay our something back, man. What we put in place for that weekend that we missed changed our life forever. We're 